Hi everyone and welcome to another Tag Saturday with Eric and Keith. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the brand new Echo Show. Yep, uh, just kind of got released. Um, I think it was like one of Amazon's quietest releases for a new device. I know, he didn't really, he didn't see much hype on this. But anyway, we got it here with us today. So we're going to take a quick tour. We already did the um, Amazon uh, Echo, Echo Plus. Plus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll link that video up here somewhere for you to check out. Uh, so you can sort of compare the two. This is just going to sort of be an overview of our initial impressions. Let's get into it. Roll that intro. Alright, so let's sort of uh, talk about the differences here between like, you know, because if you don't know what the uh, this Amazon Echo Show 5 is, let's, let's give them a quick show of the box here. Yep, so this is the box. Hopefully, hopefully it's in focus. We, we don't have a monitor, so we can't tell. <laughs> so as you see, it's um, called the Echo Show 5 because it's a 5.5 it's a inch screen. So kind of like cell phone size, like I would, your average cell phone size. Average cell phone size nowadays, yeah. So this has the screen, so unlike the Amazon Echo Plus that we did, um, it's more of like a kind of... Almost akin to the Google Home Hub. Yeah, right? it's, it's close to the Google, Google Home Hub. They they have the bigger Echo Show, similar features, but like a like five inch screen or something huge, you know, comparatively. I just wanted something small to stick in the kitchen. So like, what can you do with this thing, basically? Um. Okay. Well, it, it does do your smart home things like voice control, but you have to have like the the Plus or another smart home device set up to control like, you know, the Echo could, devices. Could you have like a regular Echo Dot or something like that? Or do you need the Echo Plus? You thing? need the Echo Plus. Mm, okay. Because keep it that has, in mind. It has to have the Zigbee Home Smart Home Hub. Right, okay. So keep that in mind. So this does not. Um, the good news is about this though, you get the five inch screen, all of the Amazon, Amazon features, and it was like 89 bucks. So it's a great little buy there to add on to your already existing Amazon uh, infrastructure if you have it at your house right i mean if you're already in the ecosystem right so you know it could be good for night clock or night staying clock or something like that it has a cool feature that'll you know like it has called wake up mode or something where it'll like start soft and get louder and louder and the ambient light will get <laughs> brighter and brighter so it wakes you up gently well that's nice that's if you nice. need that I, you well know. you know i personally need to drop the bomb on i know you know. right if i if it's like <laughs> gently i'll never get up probably uh, until it's like scream yet uh, exactly right. so i mean it has a ton of different features Features. I do like the fact that, it, um, you know, all the Amazon things, they're adding new, like, you know, routines that you can do every day. Like, I integrated this with my Apple Music. Um, oh, okay, cool. If you have a ring doorbell, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, it'll show, like, who's at the front door. Like, you know, if it's on your desk, you can see, hey, the mailman's, like, dropping off a package or something. So. All very cool features. So, um... Is there anything like, you know, that you've noticed with the show that's like a little bit not as good as the Echo Plus or? I think the Echo Plus sounds better. The speakers, the speakers are better. Okay. on it are better. The, the microphones, I definitely notice um, are better. And as you see, we're standing here it's right over there. You can't see it. it's behind the camera. Yeah, maybe four feet from us. But um, the problem I, I don't like about this is it those plus has like that ring on the top. So if yeah. you say A E L X A, yeah, it, it sh you can see that you triggered it, it. Acknowledges, yeah. But but this, if I say it, you can't T C because the screen's facing away from me. So that's kind of a downside. Oh yeah, I see. I I, I can see that, especially since we're behind it. I mean, I see why you want it that way because like if you're in the kitchen doing stuff. Or yeah, I mean, the face is that way for like you know timer reasons. Like if right. we need to like look at a recipe, we can do it on that. But I wish it kind of had some sort of uh, external indicator. I know they're keeping cost down, right? right. Like they want to keep it like a reasonable because i think the google home the one you have is like around 100 bucks wasn't yeah it? like one uh, maybe i think i got it for 100 i think it might have been 150 or something they have a bigger better one now that like has a camera and stuff but that's for another video <laughs> 
Yes. And you know, I think the microphone array is a little bit weaker too. Like like if the music's playing or something like that, it doesn't pick you up as well. Right. Or like or... You kind of have to like really tell a Alexa <laughs> to stop playing the music. Whereas the other one, I felt like he just could like normally say, you know, stop playing at whatever volume and it would stop. Mm. Okay. Well, just a little gripes. Well, but... Not, not, not that too bad, but no, no it's a, still a good device, and for the money, and you're, if you're already in the ecosystem, I mean, it's a it's a pretty cool little addition. Well, you want to, like, show them the thing? One other thing real oh, fast. Okay. Um, the, the stand. Oh, so you have to buy a stand, stand it's, separately. It's <laughs> separately, it's like 10 or 12 bucks or something, so this puts it at, like, right about $100 mm -hmm. total if you want the stand. You don't have to get the stand, but I kind of like the fact that you can, like, adjust it like up and down with the stand so yeah it, it make it easier to see from wherever right um so and you'll see like you know in a minute but um it's adjustable and it's got a little like groove in it that uh the echo sits in so you can like put it at a pretty steep angle and it won't fall off the stand oh, playing cool. music or that's cool all right well i don't think we're gonna jump into the smart home app because we like i said we already did that whole yeah. alexa setup the, the thing. setup is really like the same so we're not going to do the setup thing in this video if that's something you're interested in if anyone does to take a deeper dive into this and walk you through that we will yeah. maybe in the next video or something drop a Let's comment know. down below but we're just going to sort of show you the features of it and uh give you a little tour here uh but let's go ahead and take a look at the device sure okay guys this is the Echo Show 5 device. Um, as you can see, it's got a clean um, screen and like you can kind of see hand comparison. You know, it definitely is uh, the same size as a uh, like a cell phone. You can see the the uh, stand it's sitting on, kind of. It's right here. It's got a little bit of lift off the ground. You can see we kind of have it angled up a little bit. So it kind of makes like a, I mean, easier to read. If this was sitting flat, you'd probably have to kind of like look down at it. I will say that the screen, I wish it got just a, a smidge brighter because like um, we're in the kitchen and like some south facing windows and if the sun's blaring in on this thing it, it's a little bit hard to see that not impossible it's, it's still pretty clean like this just more washed out and let me give them a quick example here so as you can see i was right, blocky the, the right light here. right there and it kind of see how it kind of washes the screen out a little bit but anyway well, I'll step back in so we uh, can cover up the light and we can continue on here. <laughs> so if you interact with this thing, if you tap it, you can kind of see there's arrow at the top and arrow on the side. So it kind of gives you like a where you need to swipe. So just swipe down, you can see like the, the quick settings. So right now you can see the brightness is all the way cranked. Mm -hmm. And then um, do not do not disturb is off. What's do not disturb for? So there's a camera right here. Yeah. And if you push like this button, okay. Now you see the little red line. That means your camera is disabled. The thing I like about this versus the bigger Echo Show is they actually give you a shutter button. So if you look right here, there's a button. You can kind of see it turn white. So uh, a nice visual indicator that you're not broad, going to be broadcasting to the world, uh, you know, good. or that's someone good. can't peek in because a lot of people have privacy yeah, concerns yeah. with even their laptops that have cameras. So I usually leave that closed, but I'll turn the privacy mode off. Just that allows you to still receive phone calls. Like um, if someone still tried to like Skype with you, you could still answer it. Um, you just wouldn't have the video uh, available if the, the little white dot, you can see you just have to flip it open. And you can see it says camera on there. But it has it because I'm sure a lot of people will like that feature. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and turn it back off because, you know, we like the little privacy too. So so we'll swipe over on this side. And now you can kind of see this. This looks, um, if you've seen the Amazon app, Alexa app. Sorry if I triggered anyone's device there. <laughs> but um, you can, this looks pretty much the same as the uh, what the app does. Um, it gives you like, you know, suggestion, suggestions for Alexa, you can play music, um, you can see your smart home devices, so you can see the kitchen, and see what we have on right now, the hallway is off, you hit the button, you just turned it on using the touch screen, so instead of like using your voice, you can control things, oh look, Christmas tree plug, that's um, <laughs> off, <laughs> but anyway, you can see your groups, your devices, so it kind of gives you a like an app feature feel on on like a you know portable device. So, so go back, 
I'll swipe down. There's a settings button. So this will take you into the settings of the device. Kind of a nice little display. Uh, you can go to home and clock and you can choose like what what you want on your clock, your the home page content, if you want night mode on. So night mode basically dims the uh, display at a certain time. So 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. It'll dim it down. Well, that'll be handy for when you're sleeping, so it's not so exactly. Bright. And then you can have it bright during the day, right? And so it automatically switches to night mode based on available light as well. So you can have it scheduled or automatic, and um, I just have it on automatic. But we can click schedule. Just you know, be pretty much the same thing. Is like it's about you know what July almost. Right. right. <laughs> so it's about the same when it gets dark at ten and about light at seven. Um, so the clock has got kind of some cool uh, features. You can use personal photos. So if you have photos attached to your Amazon like account, you can um, use those in here. Um, you can. It's got like um, what I like about the faces is it, you can like customize them. So like if you like this one, but you don't like maybe the background color, you can change it. So you're not married, and it shows you kind of like what each background color looks like. So if you like the blue one, or we'll go with this one, kind of gradient. Yeah, that's pretty neat how it's personal. And then you can one. click save, and then it'll say setting your clock, and there you go. Yeah, I like that. Very cool that you can personalize that. Yep, and um, I like kind of how it, like, I, it, you can have it cycle through whatever you want to. It was telling me, like, a lot more things before, but you can have it do, like, top news, top stories, like, uh, Alexa skills. <laughs> uh, you're triggering the devices again. Here are some popular skill categories. Uh, see, look, we just triggered her. So, anyway. So that's kind of a quick overview of what you could do. Um, it's pretty pretty slick little device. It's pretty responsive to your touch, I think. Yeah, it seems, it seems real like, you know, there's not much of a lag when you touch it, so that's good. As long as you're up on your Alexa skills, just tell her things to do instead of, like, having to touch it. But, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I also like the option that you do have the ability to touch. What I like about this is you can combine the two devices into one group, and I just called mine upstairs. You can play music on this one, and then I have the other one in the living room, and you just say... A-E-L-X-A, -E play Apple Music upstairs. Oh, cool. It just plays on all your devices since you have it in the group, right, then? Yeah, oh, okay. so. And then, Sweet. I definitely like the that feature. It, like I said, the speaker on this one isn't as good as the other one, so the the other one in the living room seems like a seemed like a smarter move since you'd probably be listening to music in the living room more than the Right, kitchen. exactly. But maybe you like to listen to music while you're cooking. You it know. could be, could be. This is an acceptable speaker, though, so yeah. Anyway, that's a quick overview. All right. Well, let's hop back over and finish this thing up. All right. <clears throat> All right. So that was just a quick little overview video. Uh, like I said, if you want us to go deeper dive into this and show you actually how to set it up and stuff like that, uh, we could do that. But again, you can just look back at our other video where we set up the Echo Plus. It's pretty similar to that. Right, yep. But we will, if you leave us a comment and let us know if you want us to do that, we'll do that for you. But all in all, I'd say this, uh, this Echo Show is definitely a great buy to add to your ecosystem. Oh, yeah, for sure. Definitely some cool features, I think. Uh, what's your, like, one favorite feature that this thing does that, you know, you think that, hey, this is probably why they should go out and buy one? Uh, I would definitely say the size of it, because you can put it anywhere. Like, you know, like your kitchen counter to your bedroom nightstand. It's the most versatile with a screen smart home device that I've seen, I think. We'll see. There you go. So if you're interested in picking one of these up, I'll drop the uh, Target affiliate link down below. You can click that and check one out for yourself, because I'm sure they have them at Target. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. So uh, if, if they don't have it at Target and they don't have an affiliate link, I'll just drop, like, the Amazon link because I'm sure you can buy one on there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I got mine. <laughs> but, but anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap this thing up. Uh, don't forget, we got the sweet merch. And this one, the Take Me to the Mountains, has got the logo on the back. So if you like that, that's cool. Just helping the channel out there, getting the, getting the spreading the name. Oh, part, right, right. right. But we also have this as a variant too without the name on the back. So if you don't like the name on the back, you can get it without as well. But anyway, 
We really appreciate you guys watching and hanging out with us. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end it. Make sure you do all the YouTube things. Like, share, and subscribe. Smash that like button. Smash it. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace and love.